So LeBron James has made it known that he would like to own a NBA team of his own once he is retired in Las Vegas. So currently, obviously, I think most of you know there is not a team in Las Vegas. There is a WNBA team in Las Vegas, the Las Vegas Aces, I believe they're called, which I guess would make sense because Ace is like a type of suit on a card. Um, and obviously, Las Vegas is known for gambling. So this team would definitely get a lot of attention, a lot of money, I would say. But there are problems with it being in Las Vegas. Obviously, uh, you don't want a young player really being in Las Vegas on a professional team making millions of dollars because you could see how that could go wrong, right? And I feel like that is why they have not added one there yet. Now, if they did add one team, I'm sure they would add another one to make it 32 to make it even. I'm sure that would be a team in Seattle, and then they would move one of the Western Conference teams into the East, like how they have done before. I be believe the Atlanta Hawks have been in both conferences, same with the Milwaukee Bucks. So they maybe they move one of them, or well, that's a bad example, actually, because they are both in the, the East already. Um, but Las Vegas and Seattle would both be in the Western Conference, so you'd probably move somebody on the border. Um, I don't know exactly who's like right there on the border of East and West. Move them into the Eastern Conference, and then it would be 16 teams on each side. Now, I feel like that would make a lot of sense um, to add it to 32. There's 32 NFL teams, and I don't remember how many MLB and NHL teams but I believe it's 30 or more. Now, 32, I feel like, makes sense. There's so many good players out there that aren't even on teams. Uh, we saw that there are a lot of players that can still play when the NBA had to do a lot of replacement players. Lance Stevenson is in the league now after being out for a little bit. And there's other examples, but those are those are my best examples. There's a ton of young guys that just we, we may never even know could have been a great player uh, because they never get a shot. So... Similar to Gary Payton II. If Gary Payton II didn't get a shot on the Warriors, what if we just never saw him? He's been really good, and there was a chance that we just never got to see him. Now, Adam Silver, when asked about if the team was going to, or if the league was going to expand, he said, we don't have any plans for that soon, which could mean two things. They aren't going to expand for, like, 10 years, or it could mean that they aren't for, like, five years when... That matches up with LeBron's retirement in a way. So, Bronny is el eligible to come into the league in the 2024-25 season, which would be, LeBron would be, at the end of the 2025 season, he would be three years old. He'd be 40 years old. So, he would have been in the league for 22 seasons, I believe. And that's if he played with Bronny for one season. Because he said he would do anything to play with Bronny for one season of his career. Now, I... I assume he plays in the league longer than just one year that Bronny's in the league. And that is, like, perfect scenario. Also, if Bronny just makes it after being a one-and-done, which I don't know if it's fully realistic. Let's say it's not. Then it would be one year later. He'd be 41 and 23 years in the league. Or even one more. Then he'd be 42 and 24 years in the league. Which I feel like 24 years, 25 years is more I see LeBron retiring like in the 23 to 25 range. I don't see him really retiring after 22 years. I feel like it'll be a little bit longer than that. But in general, I feel like it is fairly likely that we do see LeBron James own an NBA team of his own someday. Um, it wouldn't really surprise me a ton to see that happen because I, I think it is I think it is realistic uh, for the team, for the league to be like, all right, LeBron, like, you're gonna you're gonna own this team. We're gonna let you buy this team, and he is one of the only billionaire athletes in the world. Uh, I believe it's only him, Michael Jordan, and Tiger Woods that are billionaires, which is insane. Honestly, that more people aren't like Tom Brady's not a billionaire, um, or maybe not officially. I don't know, but he could definitely buy himself a team, and I'm sure that team would gain tons of popularity yes they would be really bad at first because that's how all expansion teams are they get um, when there is an expansion team in the past they made it so every team could protect their top seven or eight i can't remember top seven or eight players which would leave him with a team full of like 
I don't know, maybe like Contavious Caldwell Pope level players, or maybe even a little bit lower than that. Um, so it's going to be like a ton of role players on a team. And they're going to suck. They're going to suck for a while. They're maybe not as bad as, as like the Orlando Magic this year, but like they're going to be one of those bottom feeder teams that's going to need to get better out of the draft or just being in Las Vegas and being having LeBron the owner, maybe people join that team. Um, that is yet to be seen, obviously, as there has been no talks of them expanding the league, but Adam Silver also, this is paraphrasing, said um, something around the lines of, it is inevitable that we do expand, but we don't have any plans at the moment. Which, hey, LeBron's getting close. He's got maybe four more years in the league, five more years, something like that, uh, before his retirement. So, hey, maybe, maybe he gets a team. That would be really, really cool because Michael Jordan has the Charlotte Hornets. Um, he's the owner, right? Or is he like the president? I don't remember. But he has the Hornets. They haven't been too successful while he's been there. So, I don't know. I feel like it could be a really cool race between the two of them. Like, oh, who can build their team up to a championship first or maybe neither of them ever do um because then it's like well lebron what if he gets a championship as a as an owner like does that count as like goat debate which it probably doesn't but like i don't know just cool thought to have um because i i feel like he'll probably be a very very good owner and i i just think it's a cool cool thought i hope that it does end up happening because i think lebron is very into the game of basketball and would love to stay around the scene, but kind of stay a little bit out of the public eye. Not as much as Michael Jordan, because you never see him in the public eye, but I think that he'll be more like a, maybe a Shaq or a Charles Barkley, because they're still extremely in the public eye, but maybe more like a Magic Johnson, who's like still in the public eye, but not like a ton. I could see something like that happening, but um, yeah, let me know if you guys think this is realistic, because I think it is. I think it is realistic that he gets an NBA team and the league adds one when he is like, come on, like I just want to own a team. It would be good for you guys. It would make you guys a lot more money. And I believe there's already, and I don't know if it's big enough, but I believe there's already like a, uh, a stadium arena in LA because of the Las Vegas Aces. Now that isn't a WNBA arena, so I don't know if that's quite big enough, but it maybe it could work. And everything just fits in perfectly Seattle gets a team back like that just sounds like a win-win-win for everyone but let me know what you guys think of it the, all this in the comment section below don't forget to leave a like though subscribe and turn notification bells to all I'd really appreciate if you guys did all of that and with that being said that's gonna wrap it up for the video guys leave your comments down below and I'll see you guys next time thank you guys for watching and peace